So in a previous video, we uh, showed how to discover more about PowerShell objects using the getMember commandlet. And we looked at all the different properties that we can work with. Well, sometimes we're going to want to sort based on those properties. So if I do a get process, get down here to the right window. If I do a get process, that's going to uh, give me all of my objects, all of my process objects, in alphabetical order by process name. Now, I might not want that. I might want to look at, let's look at CPU. I want to find where's most of my CPU usage going. So I can look down through here and I can see CPU values, but I mean, let's face it, if I'm going to try to put that in any kind of order, that's going to be a little bit of a pain. Well, we do, we can sort things using sort object. So here's how it would work. Let's do get process, and I'm going to pipe that to sort object, and I want to sort it by property CPU. Then I'm going to go ahead and filter that boy more. Okay, now it's sorted by CPU, not the way I wanted to. We're sorting in ascending. Now, de by default, we sort in ascending order. So if I scroll all the way down here to the end, now I'm going to see, all right, who's using the most of my CPU time. I need to uninstall SQL Server off of here. So anyway, it's been a while since I've done that. So this will allow us to sort those objects. Now what if I wanted them sorted in the reverse order? Well, I can change this to by doing sort object. I can change it to sort by descending. DESC will do the job too. Whoops, forgot to pipe that to more. DESC will do the job too because it will recognize, hey, DESC is uh, short for descending. So now it's sorted in descending order for me. Now I can sort based on anything. It doesn't even have to be any of these eight properties that are given here. It can be any property that I want to view whatsoever. It makes more sense if it's one that you're actually showing. But using that sort object, I can go through and sort these by whatever order I want them to uh, be in. Let's look at another one. Let's do get service. And this is going to give me all of my services, which again are going to be sorted by name. Whether they're running or stopped doesn't matter. It's going to sort them all by name. Well, what if I wanted them sorted by, do this again so we can point this out, status. Status tells me whether it's running or stopped. So I can do get service sort object property status and now it's going to group that together and it's going to put for some reason it's going to put all of my stopped ones ahead of all of my running ones because it's sorting in ascending order z to a so i want to flip that around and i want to put my running processes first so i'm going to do by status descending. And I'm just going to do DESC in this case. And now it's going to put all of my running processes first. Now I can take this a step farther. And that is, let me do a get help on sort object because I want to show you something here. Two things actually. All right. Number one, um, when I go to sort object, all right, notice that right here, my dash property is uh, in square brackets and anything that's in square brackets is optional which means I can use the system object uh, what I'm going to sort on I can use that without using dash property this is a positional parameter now notice here my culture parameter this is not a positional parameter because dash culture is not in square brackets this one is so what that means is that I can do, let me break out of here, there we go, sort object, and I can just do it by status without having to put the dash property there. All right, now the other thing I can do here is I can sort by more than one thing. So let me sort by status and then by, let me make sure I get the property name correctly, name. So I'm gonna sort by status, comma, name. And now what it's going to do is it's going to sort by status first 
and then by name. Now, because I did my dash descending on both, it's going to put my uh, name here as descending as well. So it'll sort by status first and then by name, and it'll do both of them descending because that's what I asked it to do. Okay. So that gives you an idea of how we can use the sort object. Now, when we're retrieving objects from whatever Git we're doing, right? Git process, Git service, Git date, Git whatever. Whatever we're getting, we can sort objects using that generic sort object commandlet. And this will work with any type of object, right? Not just service objects or process objects, any type of objects. We can sort because we're sorting based on properties that are related to that object. And remember, we discover the properties by using get member. Okay, so that will allow us to sort and order the output of our uh, PowerShell commandlets.